Boo. Morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sunday. Let's get a little wider angle there. Welcome to the Sunday vlog. And of course, we have uh, still have to deal with the aftermath of yesterday but there is a certain amount of excellence in having opened this up um suddenly not as depressed about the rancho <sighs> because um got a little more to do over here but the branches are pretty much off the top some more trim in here but i'm excited i can re-energize this i forgot to do that yesterday because the leaves kept whacking it right it would make it go on that's a cleanup to do so that was some major stuff that was pulled down yesterday i'm gonna have to deal with that this week dedicate mornings to i think i have a really light work schedule this week because the beginning of this month stuff was done at the end of september so i'll kind of be coasting why does it just look a lot better Really happy about it. I got to get, get lawn mowers organized next and get everything ready for um, winter. Everything looks good on the back. I don't see any issue with the uh, fences. I'm going to have them uh, boosted up a little more and straightened in a vertical position. The rainy season will be coming and I'll be really blessed if I can get one more season out of them. So, a lot of work to do to get this down to get the bigger branches off. And then I'll just mulch up. I'll run over. I got the uh, mulching mower. It'll run over that. So there's always tons of work to be done here on the rancho. The installation of the security lights worked well too. But I did not like the light that came off. I had a 1300 Lumen GE uh, LED job. And I've changed that back. I've put the old, I think I put the old one up there. Because uh, I think I think we're gonna roll with the incandescents because they give better light, but I need the uh, LEDs like out front and all that. So that was um, it's pretty good. It's not the I like incandescent lighting for kitchen stadium. Something about LEDs and the frequencies kind of gives me a headache. I don't know. So I think that turned out pretty good uh, yesterday. That was a lot of work. That's what I call bull work here when you're just busting it overhead swinging that that heavy pole saw but what a great investment i think it was like 90 bucks or something i don't even know if you can get them now because of the shortage of all the stuff out there but what an excellent way to just tame the beast here and i have a few more things i want to do but um you got to be careful because branches falling on you and can knock you off the ladder and you have to understand how branches are going to swing when they get uh, cut hey it was a fun kitchen stadium uh last night i have a blast uh but i did want to be clear because i after i do my kitchen stadiums and it is a part of uh it's a huge part of the channel here and people absolutely love kitchen stadiums because i think that they enjoy cooking on the fly in a very rustic Kind of setting it's one thing when you're martha stewarding in a kitchen and you have an overhead mirror to see if people can see what you're doing down below and you have the finest in cookware and a great stove i do have a great stove but i have a tiny kitchen and i do do kitchen stadium in winter time in there the indoor version but there's something about being outdoors in a very rustic setting with very limited equipment it makes it a lot of fun because it pushes you to be uh, creative and it pushes you to adapt and I think that's the real essence of the fun that people enjoy on Kitchen Stadium is that being up close and seeing you know what's Rosie gonna do in terms of how do you make a stew outside and blah 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 and stuff like that and it's fun but what I don't these are really I guess what I'm driving at is people ask do two things number one can i send you some cookware and things like that and um as kind as people are i'd really say no because i enjoy just making do with what i have like the big challenge how are we going to make a good pizza on an outdoor uh stove or on the um on the grill right and that's going to be fun to challenge ourselves what the hell are we going to do to do that so 
I'm happy with the cookware that I have, but again, it's very kind to uh, offer that. So yeah, I could have a Dutch oven and then use that as a, uh, a oven outside. But nice, you know, it just, it's not as fun, right? I might really seriously screw up and make, <laughs> and make a mess. Good morning, Bert. Yeah, I'm just recording my morning vlog here, so. I can really make a mess on that, so that's kind. Number two is, I get asked all the time about recipes, recipes, recipes. And honestly, these are just demonstration cooking videos, and I just do them on the fly. I don't really... It, 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 it sounds ridiculous to say a pinch here, a pinch there. Oh, how many potatoes am I going to use? Well, how many do I have? Yeah, I'm going to throw a couple onions in there, yeah. We'll put some green beans in and um, let's let's pre-boil let's pre-simmer some chicken for two hours and use that as a good base for the broth uh, you know it's all what spices are we going to use simple salt and pepper right and things like that so it's it's I'd be embarrassed to if somebody yeah it's just for fun I guess that's what I'm trying to say it's, it's just you know nobody ever follows Rosie right <laughs> in terms of what the hell we're doing so um, we do have the goals for October and I'll tell you what's coming up and I'm very appreciative once again for uh, Blackbird for popping in and uh, he's been extremely helpful here and um, he feels like he should for being here and that's a good thing you know and it's uh, I haven't really bought anything when he's around which is good. So there's there's things to be done. One of my goals for October, Croctober here, is to make sure that the Rancho outside speaking is in great shape. I can't trim the citrus trees right now because you got to really wait till after um, harvest to reshape them and all that for uh, uh, spring, and that's not going to come till December or thereabouts. But I can certainly. Um, get the other things shaped up. I'm not going to use my, you know, I don't know. Okay. I got a conscience. All right. T T O the landscaper, right? I like to have good relationships with people, right? I like to have somebody come earn a few dollars to help out, but this guy has arguably left things in work shape and went to when he arrived. I got water lines that have been pulled out of the uh, ground. I mean, that just like really, really no, no rhyme or reason. Uh, now, one good thing, he did whack the hell out of those uh, bottle brush, and they're coming in. They're, they're growing, and they'll be nice, but I need that to be wide open. I want to put a big sign, big neon sign in the rancho with some uh, outline of pine trees or something like, you know, something cool like that. Right, and that's really awesome to, you know, it should be a nice long-term goal here on the uh, ranch up. So I'm not selling. You know, as, as you guys know, when we ride around the neighborhood, you see more and more development just being stuffed in everywhere. And it's something does my heart good when I walk to the uh, when I walk to the big back lot there and just look out there and see you know, an apple tree and a fig tree, and it just just makes me feel good because I have a little touch of green in this urban hellhole and you guys hear it people oh like Rosie you got the you got the uh you know you got a great hood the houses are you know x dollars and it's you know you should be loving it hey man let's be real it's California okay you hear the uh not that I mind the ice cream guys right <laughs> but I'm just saying the ambulances every day, the uh, helicopters, the people doing 90 miles an hour down the street, the cursing, the screaming. Yeah, once in a while we get mariachi music from a neighbor and it's nice. But it's like, man, this is this is a retreat. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is my retreat. And I bought it for peanuts, right? And I poured my heart and soul into it. And I think to myself, where would I go to? Right? If I was to sell the rancho, where would I move to? Would I move to Chicago? Would I move to Kansas City? And I just think there's some basic things that I like being out of here. One of them, I think the really overriding feature for me is the weather. 
you know that I have not had to put air conditioning on one time this summer maybe two nights were very close but global warming is in a way it's not hit here I mean it's certainly hit with the low water levels we have but I'm saying it's nice here in summertime and also I don't shovel snow in winter rarely do we dip below freezing and even then by 9 10 o'clock in the morning it's up to 50 degrees or whatever so I like it yeah I know I piss and moan about the rainy season when it comes Rosie you're a cry baby three four days of rain and you're curled up in a ball Because you hate it, girlfriend. Let's be real. You're you're a sunny. You're all about sunny weather, which I am. I love my sunny weather. What else do I need to do to October? I need to get the things cleaned up on the channel. It's great. I got the new avatar. Thank you, Marjorie, for that. It's just absolutely uh, beautiful, wonderful, excellent. Love it. And I want to get the uh, text to speech and the other things of music. It's been a great. Let's face it. It's it's a fun part of stuff. And I enjoy that. And, um, yeah, I love the interaction of live tubes, live streams, but only positive ones, ones that are going to be positive in, the, in nature. So I want to fine-tune things. I got things, uh, you know, I never thought I would be back on Streamlabs again because it was a complicated mess two years ago when I abandoned it. After trying to deal with it for three years, and oh my god, and every time they did an update, it was like he went backwards. You know, welcome to 1980. You've got mail, right? It was just a friggin' mess. And then, now, it's working pretty doggone good. And you put that with the prism and the 1080p, and let's just face it, the quality of live streaming has is like, come on. I used to have like looking through, you know, looking through a prism, right? <laughs> like we give up on seeing what Rosie looks like. As long as we hear that big, as long as we hear that big Baltimore mouth, we're okay. All right. Now, the week after, my plan is the week after um, this week is going to be dedicated to the home front. Of course, we'll be doing the afternoon bike rides. I'm going to try to put the... Nightbot and some of the other features and incorporate the Rosie Murphy channel into that uh, I do want to lose weight. I feel like it's aerobically. It's been excellent to be on the bike. I'm scared to Be honest, I'm scared of being whacked on the bike um, You know having gone to the bike store yesterday and then seeing the story about the 85 year old guy that biked up the, for I don't know 22, 30 years, biked up to the top of Mount Diablo in the Bay Area here, 14, 14 miles, once a week for like forever. He logged 100,000 miles on his bike, and then an SUV took the guy out. Like, shit, what a way to go, right? Going through a roundabout circle, and some SUV just dusted him. Oh my Jesus, man, this guy's out in the middle of, I mean, look at me, I'm in an urban... Right, I got uh, muchachos, muchachas, and amigos hitting that gas pedal 90 miles an hour, uninsured, <laughs> in the hood here. Not just them, but everybody is racing around, being a hood rat here. And if you go down, man, they ain't going to call 911 on you. Right, they're going to be rolling off and putting the car in the garage for a week or two till the heat's off. And meanwhile, doot, 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 doot. you know, I'm on life support. And of course, with life support, the big bills are rolling. <laughs> right? Yeah, let's bottom line it, Rosie. <laughs> the cost, I crawl out of the hospital before I pay the room rate in the hospital. Shit, put me on the roof. I don't even care, man. I'll help land the helicopter laying there half dead. Right, I don't care. But after this week, I'm going to try to uh, go to Vegas. I'm going to try to incorporate that with Palm Springs. I know I've been talking about that, but I'm talking about heading out on a, on a Tuesday or something like that. Tuesday, Wednesday night, dicking around, and uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, 
Thursday, uh, maybe Friday takeoff, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, in um, leave on Monday in Vegas and really celebrate. It'll be the official, I think, like return of all the features on the channel, the monetization and stuff like that. And I really want to celebrate by just, uh, I don't want to do any recorded content. I'm, I reserve the right to, but just to go down there and just hang out. I'm going to take the bike down, ride with Monkey Boy, uh, see Mr. Z, do some fun stuff uh, down there. And because we're not going to, pretty soon I'm going to be complaining when I go to Vegas in December that, uh, oh my God, it's so cold. Right? Oh man, it's a wind blow, and I could barely keep the van on, on the road in the desert. <laughs> Get to Vegas, the wind is blowing so hard, and then I'm just reduced to drinking in the hotel room and all that. So I don't know. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the morning vlogs today. I'm trying to bring them back, give you an idea of what's coming. Uh, what's coming up is for today. I think that uh, Bird and I are going to hit the road. And do a little uh, adventure here. I won't be live streaming. I will be doing the recorded content because, you, as you can see from recorded content with the features of the Galaxy S10, the quality is just astounding. Look at that. Take a minute if you haven't seen it. Look at the Haight Asbury. Just the opening to be able to ride along and have that cinematic uh, opening and all that stuff. So it's good. It's good. I'm not inclined to get another. I'm not inclined to get a camera. I can, number one, I don't I don't have the money for it. But uh, I'm just enjoy. I'm understanding finally more of the features that are available. The only thing to cure is night rides, but I have an idea about uh, how to do video of uh, night rides so that they are uh, nice and uh, clean. So. With that, I'm going to close it out, guys. Please take a second to hit the thumbs up button. Your comments are welcome down below. Selling the Rancho, where to go, what to do, uh, the work that's done here, and um, feedback on the uh, Rancho Kitchen Stadium and things that you would like to see. Let me know. That's your space down there. Right? Mine's here. Thanks, everybody.